Every day for the first 20 to 30 days of practice, the first drill we're going to do is transition defense, and you're going to see that as you watch our practices. Now, the philosophy of our transition defense is very simple, like everything we do. Simplicity for me is the easiest thing that, that we can have. Number one is we got to protect the basket. We want to have somebody back to protect the basket. Now, when I say somebody back, I'm not into, okay, we're only going to send three guys to the offensive glass. We're only going to do this. Again, I'm an offensive-minded coach. Our philosophy in this is that you're a basketball player and I'm a basketball coach. My job is to figure out what you're really good at and then to let you put you in a position where you can do it. If you're a real good offensive rebounder and that can help our team, I'm never going to say you can't go to the boards because we got to get back on defense. So we could, be in a, we could have a team that has four great offensive rebounders. We're going. Now we've just got to adjust how we defend transition. So it's not, we're, we're not some set philosophy here. We're going to do what makes us the best team we can be. It starts defensive transition with guarding the basket. So whoever is the first line of defense, we ask them to sprint to the rim get to the rim and then take a step out and whether you're two on one, five on four, five on two, we want you to communicate and someone has to be at the basket. You take that step out and then if they're attacking you, you make them make a pass. If you can make them make a pass, you've done your job. They may score two on one, they may dunk on you, but if you can make them make a pass, you've done your job. We don't want you way up here where they have angles to dunk and just make plays. So we teach the first line of defense, get to the rim and step out. The second principle is to get the ball stopped. We want the ball stopped immediately. Not at the free throw line, not at the top of the key. We want to attack the ball. So our second defender, wherever the ball is, is going to run and get it stopped. Even if he gets kind of beat, as long as there's not a straight line path to the basket, he's done his good job. If he can stop the ball, he's done a great job. But that's what we want. We want that ball. We'll even stop it here, going that way if we can. We want to get the ball stopped. So, let's say the ball's here. And I've got defenders here. This is really the key to how good your transition defense will be. I think anybody that knows anything about the game knows you gotta protect the basket and knows you gotta get the ball stopped. You know, I, I would say my wife knows nothing about the game, but if you ask her what the key to transition defense is, she would say stop the ball, okay? The real key is what these guys behind the ball do. And this is the toughest teaching in transition defense. We want them to run with vision. So many guys today, and it's, it's amazing, this has changed over the years. If, if here's an offensive player, and here's one of my guys, and the ball's going this way, they're gonna run next to that guy, I got him, and think they're doing a good job. It's my man. I'm running with my man. We call it buddy running. Oh, he's, butter, he's running with his buddy, that's his man, okay? We don't want buddy running. We, we try and teach our players that players don't score, the, the ball scores. We don't guard people, we guard the ball. And that, that's something that we, I know it sounds simple, but a lot of times I'll say that and I'll have guys look at me and go, oh, yeah, that makes sense. We guard the ball. So we don't buddy run. So these guys that are behind we want them sprinting with vision. And with vision we mean you're looking ahead to see what he's going to do. All right? You're like a computer in your mind going off. All right, he's here with the ball. What are his options? And then we tell this guy, go take one of those options away. So if there's a three-point shooter here, don't run here, turn around, and then react out to that. We want you to sprint right to him. So you're running with vision. You're looking, you're seeing, you're computing what's going on ahead of you, 
and then you make a decision. It may not always be the right decision, but if we can get our guys every possession and transition to make decisions like this over the course of the season, we're going to be pretty good.